This clip will cover license files in Inova Engineering. So a license file is required for the user to gain full functionality of the software within Inova Engineering. There are a few steps involved, the first of which is providing your computer specific code to Inova so that we can then make you the license file. That file will be specific to that individual computer. There are two ways of getting this. The first one is if you currently have a valid version of the software, is to go open it and go help license info. You then copy and paste this computer code into an email to us or hit send mail. It already pulls it in. In addition to this, you then put your name and computer number and any other pertinent information. You then send this to Anova. The other way of achieving uh, gaining this code, if you don't have a valid license, which I'm going to simulate now by deleting my license file. Is when you open an engineering and you don't have a valid license, you'll be met by this dialog box. If you hit OK, then it will show you this eight digit computer code which we need to create your license. So again, either copy and paste into an email or hit send mail, which will open up your default email browser. Again, inputting your name, computer code, and any other important information. Once you've sent us the computer code, Inova will then go and generate your license file. We'll email it back to you. Once you receive your email, download the license file and place it somewhere easy to get to, like your desktop. In this case, I've got my license file here. What we then need to do is open up the install directory for Inova Engineering. I've got a shortcut here, but the path is your main hard drive, Programs 86, Inova Drilling and Intervention, Inova Engineering. Within this folder, we then copy and paste our license file into this folder. Something very important to note is that there should only ever be one license.txt file in this folder. If there are more than one, or you've got an old one in here that's expired, and you haven't overwritten it, this process won't work, and the license file won't work correctly. So make sure that there is only one, the latest version of this license.txt file in this install directory. Once this is in place, we can then go and open up an over engineering. The software will open, and you will have full license functionality. That concludes the license intro to an over engineer.